There's Tim Peake, British <laughs> European Space Agency astronaut. Just wondering whether you had mastered the zero gravity somersault. Uh, I definitely haven't mastered it. I'll give you a trial and I'll show you just how bad it is. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Give me another week. I'm truly honoured to have received Your Majesty's message. It's incredible to look at the British Isles for the first time from space. I'm not sure that this has ever been said in space before, so I'll be the first. God save the Queen. So once the gyroscope is spinning, you can just see how stable it becomes. It just gives you an idea of uh, how we use spin stabilization and gyro stabilization for control on board the International Space Station. Good view of uh, the Union flag on the shoulder of Tim Peake as he is about to begin the first spacewalk of his career. Hey, Tim, it's really cool seeing that Union Jack now it's explored space. It's great to be wearing it. Huge privilege. A proud moment. Breakfast this morning. Scrambled eggs. About about five minutes, it'll be ready to eat. So I'm just going to hold myself steady. And here you can see me drifting backwards as the space station gets a little thrust, which is going to send it into a slightly higher orbit. And congratulations to the incredible Adele. She's taken the world by storm and is a true global icon. I really wish I could be there in person to present your award and do rest assured that we're all huge fans up here. At the moment, Tim can use the arrows of the keyboard to drive the rover around like a car. I certainly hope that I'm not the last UK astronaut to fly in space. I hope there's many UK school kids today who can fulfill an ambition one day of becoming an astronaut.